All right, so another uh, prospecting adventure. Uh, we're coming to an old quarry where there's uh, mineralization and we've found a quartz vein that's not uh, mentioned in any other um, prospecting reports. Uh, last prospecting in this property uh, was done in about the 60s. So we've had this sampled and I uh, came back with uh, high copper, gold, silver, zinc, and uh, lower quantities of other metals. So we're coming back, we're going to pull some off the vein and uh, hopefully send in a bulk sample and then we'll go from there. Okay, so we're just about uh, at the quarry. Um, you got uh, in the quarry. You have uh, sicker sediments, which uh, come into contact with hornblende skonkinite, and uh, you got extensive mineralization in the form of pyrite, calcopyrite, and uh, to the right of that you have um, quartz vein, which has uh, salarite, calcopyrite, pyrite, bornite. So here we are at the quarry. You can see all the uh, oxidized rock here. You can see your, your yellow staining there. Again, everyone what's that for? That's from your sulfides. This is from your, your oxides. You can see actually right here, you have mineralization coming along down here. So you have a lot of exposed rock prospecting partner up there having run away at a vein so I would say you're about close to uh, 30 meters high for this quarry and uh, 60 70 meters wide I'll uh, try and get a good view for everyone So you can see the sulfides and oxidization. If you come over here, uh, the, there's an outcrop, which it's very brittle rock, so uh, a lot of rock falling when you're hammering that, so it's pretty dangerous. So you, it's pretty hard to see at night where the two rocks come in contact, but uh, so I don't know if you can see that. You can see how uh, the oxidized area and the uh, non-oxidized are in contact. Those are two separate kinds of rock. And the one on the right has mineralization. The one on the left does not, other than the occasional quartz vein, which is virtually barren. And then uh, the quartz vein we'll go take a look at right now. Here's uh, some pieces that we took off. You can see in this uh, British Columbia rain and air. You got a lot of acidic rain, so it oxidizes pretty quickly. Got more quartz here. Well, this is all from last time when we were here hammering stuff off and uh, taking samples. And now we're gonna do a bulk sample and uh, send a bunch of this in. And the ESA results we'll post at the end of the video. This right here is your quartz vein. Uh, travels down, you can see, um, dives down into the ground at about 90 
degrees. So it's about one meter wide. We've chased it uphill for probably 40 meters before it disappears under the host rock. Anyway, uh, I'll post some samples after and uh, essays and then uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so here's the uh, first piece I hammered off the vein. You can see uh, the calco pyrite in there. And right there you got uh, calco pyrite and appears to be boronite. You can see the uh, the coloring. Anyway, um, we're gonna see if we can pull off this now. Okay, so let's just take a, a look at the quartz vein. You can see there's some mineralization in here. Uh, generally, uh, what we've noticed when we've hammered stuff off this as it opens up into a lot bigger vein, heading back. It's difficult to see now that it's wet, but uh, all along here. So uh, here's a few samples that we pulled off in the last couple minutes. Again, it's difficult to see in the rain, so we'll post some uh, some pictures of these when they're a little drier. And uh, we're back at the shop. Okay, so we're hammering away this vein. This is the kind of material we're pulling off. So it kind of comes in uh, smaller veins and then opens up into a big patches of mineralization. Um, we've probably got about 50 kilograms right now that we've pulled off and uh, we're hoping to get uh, a bunch more for this bulk sample. So. We got the starts of an at it. <laughs> so now we got about 75 kilograms out um, of samples. So we're going to see if there's anything on that big chunk that we pulled out and uh, keep going. All right, we're back here at the shop and uh, just pulled out a few samples from what we got. And uh, let's take a look. So those are the samples. Uh, we pulled off about uh, 70 kilograms of uh, decent samples, which we can send in. Um, the other ones we probably won't. Um, so that's uh, all for the video. If you like, comment, subscribe. We'd greatly appreciate it. And uh, the same results to follow. Have a good one, everyone.